In this video, I'm going to tell you the steps you need to take to buy a house. Hi guys, this is your girl Hidden Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn the post notifications on so when I come on, you will be made aware. So listen, I'm going to teach you the steps on how to buy a house. It's not that hard. You can do it. It, okay, because if I can do it, you can too. So let's get into it. So you're thinking and dreaming about your dream home. You're trying to figure out if you want a single home, a condo, ranch, bungalow, colonial, duplex, or a town home. You have all that in mind. Do you want it to be brick, aluminum siding, um, you know, the decorations, the landscaping, the color schemes of your home. And that's very exciting, but we got to put in the work first. So let's start. First things first. Number one, do you have a job or are you self-employed? Number two, how much do you make hourly or annually? They're going to ask you all those things. So it's very important that you have all that information. They're going to dig deep into it. So be prepared. Again, the questions are very invasive and it's important that you answer them. Number three, what's your job title and how long have you worked there? You at least have to be on your job at least a year or more. They're looking for stability and see if you're able to pay your mortgage and bills. Four, what industry or field do you work in? Now, some may think you need this big job working for a corporation or manufacturing company. No, not so. You can work in the medical facility. You can work in the fast food industry. You can work in hospitality. Uh, it does not matter. What matters is your income, how much you make, that you are able to handle your monthly bills and able to take on a mortgage. Five, do you have savings? If so, how much? This is key. They are going to ask you that because they want to see how you handle your money and your expenses. This is important. You should have at least three to five thousand in your bank account. Now, I know that it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. And honestly, you would need about that much to cover expenses. Let me explain. See, they're looking to see if you have enough expenses to cover becoming a homeowner. You'll need $1,000 for your earnest money deposit. You'll also need about $500 for your home inspection, $500 for your home appraisal, and $500 for a surveyor. With those expenses alone, you're already at $2,500. So if you had 3000 in the bank, all you will have left is $500. So this is why I said you should have about three to $5,000. Because of course, when you buy your home, you know you're going to want to buy some new accessories for your home, perhaps some furniture. So let's get to saving, guys. Six, do you have a bank account? If so, how much? Now, we already discussed about your finances and how much you should have in your bank account. And I said three to five thousand. So now let's go over if you want to put your money in a bank or a credit union. My personal preference is credit union. Now, that choice is solely up to you. But please be reminded that they are going to ask you for about two months of your monthly statements from your banking institution. Be prepared. Seven. How's your credit? Now, this is very, very important. This is one of the first questions that the mortgage loan officer asks. May I pull your credit report? And this is just to see um, how you pay your bills. Um, they're looking for debts, collections, delinquencies, uh, inquiries, late payments. I strongly suggest that you take care of all your debt and delinquencies before contacting your mortgage loan officer so that you're already prepared. It's like, sure, go ahead, pull my credit report. No problem, because everything you've taken care of 
Okay, and you can also order your credit report annually and it's free, guys. You order it free. You should know your status. You should know what's on your credit report. You can go to annualcreditreport.com online or you can contact the bureaus directly, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion to get your credit report. And again, you can view it online and you can also... Um, have it mailed to you. Now, if you have anything that you need to dispute or have it taken off, then I should strongly suggest that you do that. Handle your business, take care of any delinquencies, late payments, things that you can pay off, things that you can dispute, get it done quickly, and then move on. Eight, what is your credit score? Is it from 300? Or is it 750? Well, the credit score ranges from 300 to 850. You should know this score. Now, you've ordered your credit report. Your credit score will not be on your credit report. You have to order that separately. So let's get that taken care of. This will be an additional cost to you. And it can range from $7.95 up to about $16. And you will have to order three. You would have to order from each bureau, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And believe it or not, they charge different prices. So again, it ranges from $7.95 and up. Because we have to order three because they're different. Your credit score number will be different on each one. That is why you order all three. You want to know these numbers instead of having someone tell you what your numbers are. You are prepared. Nine, have you filed your taxes? Are you current? Are you up to date? The mortgage loan officer will ask you for two previous years of your taxes. You must have this information. If you do not have your two previous years done, I strongly suggest that you get them done as soon as possible. It's very important. You also want to have this information done before contacting your mortgage loan officer because this is the information that they will need from you and you want to have everything ready. Remember, being prepared make this process easy. 10. Banks look at everything from your credit, from the job, your finances, how much money you have, how much money you spend, your credit score, your credit report, your delinquencies. They look at everything, so be prepared. 11. Assets and liabilities. Remember, they look at everything, so you want to be prepared. So they're going to look at your car note. They're going to see if you owe child support alimony, student loans, they look at everything. So you want to have everything up to date and paid on time. And they do this because they look at your expenses and see if you're able to take on a mortgage and pay it without any problems. Yes, they even look at your utility bills. They want to make sure that you're paying everything on time and if there were any late payments. So please be sure to be on top of everything. Get things done. 12. Take a home buyer's class. This is very important. This is where you'll learn the difference of grants and loans and things that you may qualify for, like the FHA, which is the Federal Housing Administration that requires one to 3% down. The VA, which is the Veterans Affairs, requires one to 3% down. The conventional loan, which requires 20% down, but you don't have to pay the PMI. Um, also the USDA, a loan, which is an agricultural farming loan um, where there's little to no money down. You also learn about the MCC, which is the mortgage credit certificate, which helps you with your down payment assistance just by taking this class. Also, you learn about different grants and down payment assistance programs. This class is very essential. They even go over with you for budgeting um, your household expenses as far as your mortgage and how you can do things to make things easier because now you've taken on a larger bill. They even go as far as landscaping. They teach you about landscaping to keep your home beautiful on the outside. 
So any questions that you have concerning home buying, this is the class for it. They have all the answers you need. They have different resources that you can use. It's very helpful. So I strongly suggest that you take this class. It's very beneficial and I'm sure you'll be happy that you did. Happy home buying. So you look like you're ready to be approved and start home searching because you've taken the necessary steps that you need to do and everything is in order. You were prepared. Let's go. 13. Now it's time to find a reputable realtor. Now remember, when looking for a realtor, make sure that they have your best interests at heart and looking for what you want and desire to live in. Remember, they are here to assist you. And also, you can help them by searching for your homes as well. This is a major purchase for you, and it's definitely a lot of money. So you want to be where you want to live in the area that you want to live in, and it's the home of your choice of what you want. So whether this is your starter home or your forever home, you want to be happy in the home that you chose. Well, you made it. Happy homeowner. Congratulations. 14. It's time to seal the deal. You're at the closing. You're signing all those papers. You're about to get your keys. Congratulations. Happy homeowner. 15. You got the keys. You did it. You are a homeowner. You did the necessary steps that you needed to do to purchase your home. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it.